Matthew is a pilot for a commercial operator. Every summer, they carry out support missions with local firefighters for forest fire protection. Today, before the start of the season, he is performing a recce flight of a new landing area that will be used during the summer. For this flight, he will be flying a Cabri G2 helicopter, dedicated for training in the company, and after a short flight, complete a recce before the landing. Matthew performs the final approach and increases the power with the collective to set the helicopter in a hover and ground effect. Concentrating on the obstacles around the landing site and the available power to land, Matthew suddenly feels the nose of the helicopter yawing to the left, starting a spin. Matthew slightly increases his movement with the right pedal to stop the left rotation, but it doesn't stop, which forces Matthew to full deflection on the right yaw pedal. After a 360 spin above the ground, the helicopter stops its left rotation. Matthew lands the helicopter and shuts down the engine, wondering what happened. Matthew, what happened to you is an unanticipated yaw phenomena. This phenomena is a rotation of the helicopter about the yaw axis. It occurs when the pedal input is not correct and the helicopter has a sudden and unexpected movement. It concerns all types of helicopters with a single main rotor, clockwise and anti-clockwise rotor types. Check this diagram, which is detailed and explained on the Airbus Flight Physics web application. For a given wind velocity, direction, temperature, pressure and collector position, the curve represents the necessary pedal input to keep the helicopter steady on the yaw axis, related to the angle between the longitudinal axis of the helicopter and the wind direction. In reality, the force of the wind will play a decisive role. You already know that uh, with a large pedal input, you command a rotation that will continue until you stop it with an opposite input. But a little variation of the wind direction results in a rotation as the helicopter changes its position along the curve. It happens quite frequently that the pilot gets confused because they do not anticipate factors such as the changing wind direction relative to the helicopter position when yawing. There are two areas on this curve. In the unstable area, a small variation of the wind direction leads to a large variation of heading. For example, when you are taxiing with a tailwind, you can be over-controlling on the pedals. A second point is the higher the airspeed or wind speed, the higher is the curve. For the same rotation on the yaw axis, the required inputs on the pedals are larger with airspeed than the hover. The third point is when the pilot raises the collective pitch, the curve goes up. That's why, to keep a direction steady, the pilot must use a proper pedal input. When does unanticipated yaw occur? During takeoff to hover, or transition from hover to forward flight, when raising the collective without pedal input compensation when hovering with a variation of wind direction and gusts, or whilst taxiing and the pilot commands a rotation while the pedal position is close to requiring opposite pedal to counteract the direction of the wind. On final approach, when you reduce the speed of the helicopter, you need more power to overcome the rate of descent and loss of translational lift. This is what happened to you, Matthew. Now you know why and how the helicopter starts to rotate and why it may not stop. This is not a mechanical failure, but the result of improper use of the pedal controls. The training of the phenomenon can be done safely in a simulator, regardless of the type of helicopter. Here, Matthew flew a Cabri G2, but he will use this available H125 flight training device. How to stop the rotation? Apply full and strong action on the appropriate pedal. The primary effect of your action will be to slow down the rotation. When the rotation stops and reverts, adjust the pedal position to stabilize the helicopter. If the action is not strong enough, the rotation slows down for a while but accelerates again afterwards. You have no other choice but to wait to reach an area of wind angle where the helicopter may stabilize again on the yaw axis. How to prevent the rotation? During all pre-start procedures, check the full pedal travel when possible, memorize and feel the position in your legs, and remember why you check it. Know that unanticipated yaw phenomenon occurs by far more often than a tail rotor failure or a technical flight controls failure. 
the latter of which have a negligible percentage in terms of your control related accident root causes. But remember that if after a while the rotation does not decelerate, it may be a technical failure for which a precise procedure exists in the RFM. In the event of technical failure, there will be other symptoms just before the rotation begins, such as vibrations, noise, shock. Be ready to apply full pedal to correct unanticipated yaw.